morning. It is three in the morning, but today Farley and I are gonna go uh, take some photos and videos of a sunrise up in uh, Kananaskis country. Did you have fun? <laughs> I think you had fun. Okay, first question, start us off. Cat Myresh. Cat My Myersh? Whatever. Can you name some of your hobbies, IRL, or favorite things? Well, as you can see, I like doing photography. I used to do it professionally. Don't anymore. So I want to get back into doing landscapes and just doing it for fun. I like to golf. I like to uh, snowboard and wakeboard. I haven't really been doing as much in the past couple of years, but I want to get back into that as well. Next up is at a Firo Ghosts 28 what got you into RP and streaming? What got me into RP was I used to watch actually Jeff's videos back in the day, LCPDFR, and then one day I saw him do multiplayer uh, GTA 5 RP. I was like, holy shit, you can do multiplayer in this thing? Like, get me in there. So then I, I applied the next day. Cause I really, cause I was like, that's so cool. You can, like, it's one thing to do it with a first, first player mod. That gets kind of boring after a while. You want to do it with other people. So I was like, oh shit, like if I do something bad, a real cop's gonna pull me over, that's cool as hell. So I joined there and that's what made me get into RP. I've also always had a love for like improv comedy and that's really what this is. I listen to a lot of improv comedy podcasts, uh, shows, and I just think some of the funniest people 
have their background in improv because you have to be quick-witted, you have to be on your toes, and it's been fun trying to like develop that skill more and hone it in. It's been a lot of fun. Jenny's product reviews asks, honestly, just want to know how you're doing. What do you do in your downtime when you aren't recording? I'm doing really well, uh, as as well as you can be in the you know as 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 it goes right now with the with the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, as the game crumps say. But it, yeah, I'm I'm doing okay. Was able to recently purchase my first house last summer. I love it. I'm so happy with it. And then immediately I uh, was like, okay, now now I'm getting a dog. So I got Farley, and he's just. Uh, as you can tell, I, I love that dog so much, and he's just my best friend, and it's uh, it's it's awesome. So things are going really well, and I'm very happy. Dude, did you have an IRL job? So <laughs> one of the reasons why I can't, why I don't upload regularly, is because I do have a full time job. I have a full time career as well as I'm uh, going to school to get my second degree. I already have a degree in accounting. I'm going for a second degree in my current field. So that's been busy. So that this is why I haven't been able to upload regularly because uh, I've just been kind of focusing on those two things. <laughs> but uh, if I if I wasn't doing those things, I would be a terrible YouTuber. I am a terrible YouTuber, but at least I have the excuse that this isn't my full time gig. I'm just doing this for fun when I can. Um, and somebody may ask, what do you do for work? Um, I like to keep that private because the last thing I want is some little shit on here messing with my, my actual career. So yeah, <laughs> I like to keep that private. Hex Hex asks, are you ever going to do DOJ ever again? So I wanted to address this in video form because I know I've addressed it through comments, replies, on live streams. So just gonna, yeah, I know this is the elephant in the room. Uh, no, I won't be going back. <laughs> I have no interest in going back there. I help run OCRP, which you can see. Yeah, I help run OCRP with Jeff, Dave, and Nicole. I love it there, but I'm not gonna talk shit about them. They can do what they want. I'm an adult, I've moved on. It has been, what, almost three years now since I've left. So, just moving on. Rose underscore Spud asks, you might have already answered this in a stream or something, but of all, out of all the breeds, why a Bernese Mountain Dog? Also, on top of that, what stuck out about Farley that made you pick him? Um, so the reason I got a Bernese, and you guys can skip through this if you don't give a shit about dogs, um, was I've, I've wanted this dog for the last 10 years. I've researched dogs, and he's just... I just wanted a big, fluffy, like, teddy bear. And that's what he is. <laughs> all he wants to do is... He just wants to be loved. He is just a gentle giant. That's their breed. They are bred to be right by your side. Um, they do a thing where they sit on your feet and they, they, they call it the burner bump. They lean up against you and because they want you to pet them. He's just super affectionate, goofy, and full personality, full, full love. And that's why I wanted him because he's a great breed. It was between him and a golden retriever. And I was like, <laughs> golden retriever would have been a smarter choice, but my heart was set on Bernie's mountain dogs. Cause they're just, fuck, they're awesome. <laughs> and what stuck out about them? Um, to, well, to be honest, when I was looking at this breeder, the puppies were going really quick. Every time I would check their ad, it was like, this one sold, this one sold, this one sold. So I was like, oh shit. So it was, uh, they had two left. One was Farley and one was a, uh, a female. And I saw his picture, I'm gonna throw it up now. Look at that chungus, dude. Like he, like, <laughs> look how chunky he is. Like, how can you not love that little guy? Like, so I was like, yeah, that's the one. Oh, I don't even care, that guy. Zach the Grid House Arrest asks, when will Farley get his own channel? I mean, it's slowly turning into that. He's he's way more interesting than I am. Uh, but for real, if money was no concern, what would you do for a living? If money wasn't a concern, like let's say, like it, let's say I won the lottery and I didn't have to work for a living, I would I would go snowboarding. I would go I would go traveling. Um, my <laughs> my dream would be to to own a uh, own a condo on a lake or ca sorry, a cat like a condo or a cabin on a lake. And then another a cabin in uh, on like a, a ski hill somewhere, and then just all winter go snowboarding, all summer just on the lake, going wakeboarding stuff like that. That would be that would be the, we can only dream, right? 
Nick Heinrich asks, what are some goals for the next few years of YouTube? Honestly, I don't really have many goals for the channel. Um, I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants on this one just because I started it with this is going to be a fun hobby. Same with Twitch streaming. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to make sure it's fun. And it's always going to be fun. And the, the day it's not fun is the day I stop. And if I make any money doing it, then that's a fucking bonus. <laughs> so I've had that mantra um, since I started. And I'm just going to keep on that path because it should be fun. This is video games. This is, video games should be fun, right? Shouldn't be a job. Like realistically, I would love to do other games. I would love to do some more kind of VR playthroughs, some plans with the boys to do some more gameplays. The stuff we've been doing recently has been a lot of fun. So we got lots of kind of stuff in the in the works. I don't know, I'd also want to do more vlogs. This one was really, really fun to make. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed getting outside, filming, taking the dog for a walk. <laughs> it was really fun. So let me know, but let me know what you guys want to see. Even if you, do you, do you give a shit? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see. If there's any videos that I've done in the past that you liked to see more of, just, just let me know. What is your favorite character to RP as? Says Colin Rocker. My favorite character to RP as is probably George. <laughs> Cause I mean, he's just, he's really easy to do. And it's hard, not, it's hard for the cops not to love him. Like he's so stupid, but kind of lovable. <laughs> You know, he's like, just, he's, he's just a fucking like nice, dumb guy. And you can't not like a nice, dumb guy. They're like, oh, he's so fucking stupid. Bob, he's a nice guy. At Luke B, what is that? At Luke 827, oh, 76309. Ask why. Because! <laughs> why? Because! And CosmoFav asks, when come to Florida again? Man, I... Y'all gotta get your shit together down there. I really want to come down and visit my friends, visit Jeff and Nicole and Bugs and, and well, Dave's not there anymore. God damn it, Dave. But I really, I really would love to go down and visit, but y'all, y'all infected. I ain't going down anytime soon. <laughs> STL Off Road asks, what is your favorite video you have made? Um, one video that was really near and dear to my heart was the uh, the supercar video. It was a really, really fun time with um, my dad. I celebrated my 30th and we celebrated his 60th birthday. So we went out and splurged and drove some supercars around the track. And that video meant a lot because it was just, it's nice to go back and watch it because we, we had a lot of fun together. And I know I didn't really record him and I together in it because I didn't really want to put him out to YouTube and the audience, but uh, it was really special to me in that I'll remember that one. But one of my other favorite videos, the one I've had the most fun editing was uh, the um, the dumb eye racing video I did. If you want to see some hot memes, go watch that one. I spent a lot of time editing that one and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> False Gaming says, what's the one thing, if anything, you would change about your YouTube or Twitch content? Oh man, I, just a small thing, but I'd make it interesting for sure and funny but other than that not nothing it's per <laughs> other you know other than that it's perfect <laughs> chatio my boy chatio asks how do you balance a full-time job and content creating asking for a friend i just do it when i have time when i and when i want to there's so many, you know how many videos i haven't released because i was just like i don't really feel like editing tonight because i got other shit to do and i have only so much free time just don't make this a, a don't make it a thing that you have to do as soon as you make anything you have to do it you're not going to want to do it do it because you're you getting if you're excited about putting out some content then yeah that's going to give you motivation to do it but other than that don't force yourself nobody likes forced content i'm having a good time nathan pollard asks yeah do your neighbors think you're like murdering someone every night so my last place that I lived at, I had uh, neighbors on either side of me. And I guess one of them started talking to the other one. Like, on, and they're like, is he okay in there? They're like, should we, should we call the cops or something? Like what's going, like there's a lot of screaming and shit going on in there. 
And the one neighbor goes, oh no, it's fine. He does Twitch. He, he's streaming right now. He's a content creator, I guess. And he, he does this. He's acting. So it's fine. So, so I talked to them. I'm like, I hope I'm not bothering guys. They're like, no, no, no. We were just worried because we one time heard it. It's like, okay. But I was starting to thinking, I'm like, what if I was actually getting like fucking murdered in there? They'd be like, oh, he's just, he's having fun. Oh, him. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, please save me. I'm dying. Thad Catlin asks, what is it like to be a YouTuber? Tell us how you started. I am, I do not consider myself a YouTuber. I would consider myself a Twitch streamer first, YouTuber second. I do, I sp I've spent way more time doing Twitch. But either way, I am not a YouTuber. I'm not if I if I was a YouTuber, I'd be a really shitty one because I I do not upload regularly. I do not devote the amount of time that should be on it. Not any different. I'm just a regular dude. Just a guy being a dude, man. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Okay, so that's it. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions. Uh, for those who um, submitted questions but I didn't answer, don't take it personally, but fuck you. I didn't like your questions. So don't cry. Fuck you. But don't cry. <laughs> oh, look. Here's the subscriber count. <laughs> Real quick, I'm just, just kind of reflecting on, you know, 100,000. That's that's a big milestone, man. Um, I just I do have some people to thank. Um, first and foremost, um, I want to thank my really good friends, um, Jeff, Bugs, Dave, Alex, and uh and and zach um i know that we i joke all the time that and i was telling this to these guys i was like i joke all the time that i'm like <laughs> fucking riding your coattails but like i'm not an idiot i know that most of you probably found me through those guys and and i know jeff jeff <sighs> What Jeff has told me, he goes, you know, you can, we've, sh we've given foot in the doors to, um, a lot of people, but at least you've ran with it, um, because you put, and you should be proud of that. But that doesn't negate the fact that, um, I wouldn't be where I am without those guys with, without them giving me, um, you know, a, a foot in the door to, to show who I am and to, to, to show what I'm about it's it's meant a lot and uh, I I wouldn't be anywhere without those guys so um Jeff bugs Dave Alex Zach thank you very much um everyone at OCRP thank you for your support and your patience with us and like we're not a perfect community but you guys are all pretty chill and uh I think we got a good thing going um but thank you, you guys. Thank you so much again, you guys. I really, I can't believe you. I still can't believe you guys watched the shit I put out. Um, but thank you so much for for my the loyal fan base that I have. Um, just, it's crazy. And it will never not be crazy. And the day that it isn't crazy to me is the day I should stop. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much.